I'm Allison Roman, and today I am braising a pork shoulder, a glorious, beautiful pork shoulder. The nice thing about them is that they take really well to pretty much any flavor. You don't actually have to do anything except stick it in a pot, put it in the oven, and walk away for a bunch of hours, so kind of great. This pork shoulder is gonna be rubbed with like a really spicy, garlicky, harissa mixture that I'm just gonna like smear all over it. I'm gonna use some tomato paste and then harissa paste. Harissa is an awesome, awesome, awesome hot sauce to own if you don't already. A little bit goes a long way. And then I'm gonna grate some garlic in there. It really intensifies. I'm gonna add some vinegar. And you're like, isn't that just for dyeing Easter eggs? I cook with it a lot when I want like, just kind of something really tangy without like a ton of flavor. I'm not a squeamish person. I have no problem touching raw meat with my bare hands. And yeah, I leave my rings on. It's crazy, I know. But if you're not into that, you can uh, delicately spoon it on like this. But I can tell you that it's definitely not as fun as just doing it with your hands. This will be even better if you let it sit for a day, but any sort of time that you have to spare, like if you're like, oh, I can do this, let it sit for four hours, I would. In you go, my little friend. And if you'll notice, this pork shoulder is fat side up, and that's just so, as the fat renders, it can kind of like baste the pork shoulder. I'm gonna add some orange juice for a little bit more acidity, a little citrus, and I'm gonna pour this around. The liquid is there, basically, to kind of prevent burning. I'm also gonna add a few sprigs of thyme in here. Whoa, so easy. This guy is gonna go in at a 325 degree oven. For a pork shoulder like this, which is like really garlicky and spicy, you'd want to serve it with a salad that's like a little bit crunchier, more fresh, and a ton of fresh herbs. I'm gonna use parsley and tarragon and a bunch of chives. Sort of the secret to that salad is like a little bit of thinly sliced white onion. Whew. Still heavy, every time. This smells so, so good. I'm gonna add beans to this liquid. The pork isn't totally done cooking yet, but we're gonna put that in for like another 45 minutes to an hour. I'm gonna crank up the oven to like 400, and that is going to help the pork brown on top. Oh, she's a sizzling. I'm gonna go ahead and slice it, put it back in the pot, let it mingle with the juices and the beans and then set it on the table so people can kind of serve themselves.